My name is Scott Campo with Bentley's technical support team. Have you ever had trouble getting stable results in sewer gems when modeling a lot of pumps or a pressure system? One great option would be to use the GVF Convex or SewerCAD solver. Sewer gems comes with a number of different solvers. Typically, a user will use the implicit or explicit solvers, which allows for modeling of complex networks, such as loops, overflows, and ponding. The dynamic wave solvers in sewer gems can also model pumps and pressure systems. However, if your system layout is not complex, but it does have complex pumping situations, the GVF convex solver might offer more stable results. Here we have a system with three pumps coming out of a wet well. The pumps are set to turn on at different wet well elevations, as you can see here in the properties for the pump. Here's the off elevation and here's the on elevation. However, when the model is computed, there's a large deviation of results in the wet well. You can see this if you graph the results. You can also use the hydraulic reviewer to show the, the volume of water coming into the wet well versus what's coming out of the wet well. As this system is not overly complex, one solution that we have available to us is to use a different solver. So if we take a look at the properties for this particular solver, we see the active numerical solver right now is set to the explicit solver. But if I change this to the GVF convex solver and compute the model, we will see a series of more stable results for the pump. So here's what I will do. I will graph the flow from the pumps as well as the wet well. This graph shows the pump flow from all three of our pumps and the hydraulic grade in the wet well. The uh, pumps are turning on and off as expected with the, uh, with the hydraulic grade in, in the wet well as well. Another advantage to the GVF convex solver is the ability to use logical controls. Typically, you would have pump controls that are based on elevation in the wet well. Once water reaches a, a suitably high level, the pump will turn on. When the pump wet well drains, the pump will turn off. If you look at the controls in the pump once more, you'll see those elevations listed here. However, with the GVF convex solver, you actually can take this to another step and pump versus, say, time of day. In order to use that, you would go to the components pull-down and then choose controls. Here we already have a set of controls that are built in. It is based on the wet well hydraulic grade, but you can also choose other types, including time from start and clock time. In order to apply the logical controls, you would return to the pump properties and set ignore on off elevations to true. When you do that, the on and off elevations and the properties will be ignored and the controls that in the controls manager will be used instead. Information on different solvers available in sewer gems and much more can be found in the hydraulics and hydrology section of Bentley communities. Thank you for your time.